Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today's tutorial is going to be a balloon elephant. So grab your 260, we're going to blow it up about halfway. Tie it off and give it a squeeze and a stretch. What we're going to do, is we're going to do a tulip twist, if you remember how to do that. But we're going to make a long one, so take that tip, push it in, and you have, got it right there. I'm going to push it back again and grab the knot. Then be careful pulling out your hand. If you're not careful, the balloon can pop right there. And even if you are careful, sometimes it'll pop. <laughs> We're going to twist that off. This is the trunk. We're going to make two loop twists for the ears. You want the two loop twists to be about the same size. Right, so you got the trunk and you got the ears. Let's go down, do a one inch bubble for the neck. And then do two, about three to four inch bubbles for the front legs. Twist that section here into that section there. And we're gonna make a body about two, three inches. And then same thing for the back legs as we did with the front. You have just a little bit left over. If you got more than me, that's fine. This is gonna be the tail. So twist this section here into this section here. And adjust everything so both the legs are on the bottom. We've got the ears right here, We've got the trunk. But we're not done yet. We need a white. This is a white uh, five inch round. You can use a black five inch round or take a 260, twist it up a couple times. We're gonna blow this up until it's about the size of a, a golf, a little bit bigger than a golf ball. Feel free to let out some air. So it's somewhere between a golf ball and a baseball. Bigger than a golf ball, but not quite the size of a baseball. You can play around with it, figure out what you like best. We're gonna tie that off. Now it's important when you tie that, to tie it closer here. Don't, don't tie it up into the nozzle, tie the knot close to the balloon. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna split it in half. So if you don't know how to do that, you take both ends, you got the knot up here, you got them on the bottom. You're gonna grab it, grab your spheres and rotate. So they should be about the same size. If it's not quite the same size, you can untwist it slowly to where it's just going through. Then you can put, squeeze one side, push the air into the other side. Right, so now that we got that, we're gonna take this, we're gonna wrap it around and tie it. I'm gonna turn the balloon around and do that one more time. A little tight, tie that off. That should seal it so the air doesn't go back and forth. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna twist it into the ear. So what we're gonna do is we're take like that, grab one of the eyes and one of the ears in the can, and twist. All right, so now we adjust things a little bit. Now, I'm not gonna adjust the, no the nose just yet because first, I'm gonna draw in some eyes. I keep my eyes very basic. Yes. Couple of dots. Some eyebrows, try to make sure the dots are the right size. Boom, there's the eyes. Cap that pen, put it away for later. And now we can adjust this. So the cool thing about this is it's actually quite adjustable. I get two different things. You can do whatever you want with it. Have fun with it. There is your two balloon elephant. One thing I like to do, just a quick fact while I'm making them, is I ask people if they can tell the difference between an African elephant and an Asian elephant. I find that most people don't seem to know that, at least where I'm looking around. <laughs> um, so the, the easiest way to tell the difference is actually in the ears. African elephants have large flappy ears that are shaped kind of like Africa, whereas Asian elephants have much smaller ears. Now I like to say that this is an Asian elephant, and a baby one too, because I don't exactly have room to make a life-size one. Anyways, just a little uh, tidbit there for you. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy this video, please like it. Comment down below what something else you'd like me to teach you. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Alright, have a good day.